find the equation of the hyperbola, we're given the vertices, asymptotes, and the center, and we have to come up with the equations. The first thing I like to do is draw a picture, and then use a picture to come up with the formula, or decide which formula to use. So here's the y-axis, and here's the x-axis, here's the center. So the vertices, that's where the parabola touches, so it's going to be right here. It touches the axis in this case, so 16, and here it's going to be negative 16. Okay, so it's going to open up, and it's going to open down. All right, so those are the vertices. If it opens left and right, then these guys here, these are the vertices. If it opens up and down, then these guys here, these are the vertices. Right, those are always the, the vertices. Okay, so this is A. Right, this is A. So A is 16. Okay, A is 16. What about this? What about these asymptotes? Well, when it opens up and down the equation of the asymptotes with center 0, 0, it's plus or minus A over B X. So it looks like we can use A over B in 2 to solve for B. So A over B, we can set that equal to 2. Um, and then we know what A is. A is 16, so we get 16 over B equals 2. You can multiply by B here. And so you get 16, I'll write it over here, 16 is 2B, so B is 8, All right? So B is 8. All right, let's finish. So it opens up and down, so the Y comes first. So it's going to be Y squared over A squared minus X squared over B squared equals 1. So A was 16, so 16 squared is 256. So you get Y squared over 256. Right, because 16 squared is equal to 256, yup, minus x squared over b squared, so 64, and that's equal to 1. So that's it. I hope this helps someone out there who's working on hyperbolas.